Let's start talking about modeling an air conditioner now. I've got Pure F open and I've got a bunch of references in here. And uh, these, I believe, are all 3D images of, uh, of air conditioners. So uh, we're going to need a number of components to this thing. And the first thing that we're going to need is sort of what I'm, I guess what we'll call is the body or the base. So we're going to need some kind of a rounded rectangle. And they, they're pretty similar. They, they differ in that some of them have more rounded corners, as we can see here, or rounded edges. And some of them are a little bit more square. But I'm, and uh, this one is just sort of notched. I'm kind of partial to the rounded edges as I just scroll through these, something like this. All right, so uh, we're, we're going to need the body. And it's just a, a relatively narrow rectangle. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the next thing I'd like to look at is the top. Some of them have a top that really looks like it's a separate piece. Um, you could just extrude in, and that might work. Um, so there's that. Other ones don't have a top at all. And I do like, some of these are repeats, by the way, um, just from different angles. I do like having the separate top. It allows us to put bolts or do whatever. And some of those tops are wider than the bottoms, as you can see here. And uh, and here it looks a little bit like that and definitely up here this is one of the uh, incredible uh, ones that i found on uh, on art station there's a great place to look for really really good artwork so we're going to need the body and we're going to need the top and i actually think that i would like to do a top something like this or like one of the other ones that has the separate top but also the bottom you know as you can see this one has the bottom piece to which the supports, we'll call them the supports, can attach. This one looks like it has the top, but maybe not the bottom. And this one has the top like that, and maybe a, a slightly different bottom. So we'll come up with something. So we've got the rectangle that we need. We've got a top and a bottom. And now let's look at the front itself. Obviously, this is an air conditioner, so they're all going to have some kind of a fan now. Some of them are circular, or, or they have sort of a circular grill on them, and some of them have sort of a square area with the cutaway. Because we'll have a nice large face here out in front, it'll be a big end gone, uh, we should be able to do a Boolean in this. Um, obviously, if it's, if it's a square, it might be a little bit easier, but uh, I'll be doing, I think, a circular Boolean in there. And then we'll put some kind of a lip, I would think, to cover that so that um, even if that Boolean is a little bit jagged, I can have a nice, you know, s smooth lip around that. And then we'll need some kind of a fan. And then we'll need some kind of a, a grill. And there are different types of grills. If I come back to this one, the thing that I like so much about this, you know, you see this sort of angled border here, outline here. And then we've got the fan inside and nothing overly special about those fan blades. All right, and the center piece here, we don't see in behind, so we don't know. But I really like these clips that come out with a bolt. It looks like you could take this with like a, um, even just a plane and just bevel this edge to round it. You could take a half a circle and just extend it and push it under. So that would be pretty straightforward. However, as you can see here, it comes and it kind of dips down a little bit. But we could do that. But many of them have a feature like that. If I zoom in here, you can see some other kind of clip that's attaching this one you might not see it um, some of these ones that's the same one but I do like that as an extra little piece again it's the same one this one doesn't have it, it has different a different form of attachment all right and this one looks like it's got something kind of similar hey, in a way so yeah we'll do us I think you know a circular fan and I will decide if I want to do a pattern like this or if I want to do the grill or mesh more like this. 
with some clips. Now, what else is on the front here? As you can see for this one, we've got this nice sloped panel. They also have a cutaway through here. You've got this piece and you've got some, uh, some other bolts and then this kind of power knob or power button or something. Uh, most of them will have something else on the front. I really like this one. I'm not too crazy about this indent here. It looks fine, but I don't think that I would do that. I think I would probably do more like this. Um, let me double check. This is fine as well. I mean, that kind of thing with the, the I guess it's got the three fan blades and it's got this kind of grill. All right. Uh, maybe I could do a mixture of things and this is just a relatively straightforward. Now, this in this one, these things that are supposed to be indents, that, that, that looks like more like a texture, uh, like a normal map uh, than an act, actual geometry. Um, this one, it's a little bit hard to tell if it's if it's texture, but it looks a little bit like texture. Uh, as opposed to geometry and this one also looks like texture chart to tell and then you have this one which is very plain on the front and it just has these I mean that would be very easy to do in a texture all right whereas this one is obvious geometry but I do like that quite a bit there but they all have have you know the fan and the grill and they have something else on the front. So I would need to choose something, something like this, or something like this, or, you know, make it even simpler. So we've got the, the body. We've got the top and the bottom. We've got the fan, the, the grill. We've got some kind of a border and some clips and some other design on the front. All right, and look at this one. And then we're gonna to move to the sides. All right, so let's look at the sides. Um, one that I really like is this one here. Uh, I don't know, you know, sometimes it's the texturing and sometimes it's it's the modeling that attracts me more to it. But, and I, I also look for doability. Could I do it? Uh, could I do it with you? Is it reasonable to do? Uh, would it look good? So this thing we've got like, you know, imagine a plane here and you pull you know the vertices in to do that and again you could do this in geometry and i might i would have to try it and see if i like it versus doing it in uh, in texture like an alpha or a normal map but something like this but i i, I just i liked this i don't know why i just like this rounded thing here on the side uh nice rounded corners here and i liked the wire coming out of it down to these sort of nozzles you know this thing so you've got like two levels of that and then you've got the rectangle in here and then you've got a little bit of hardware with these tubes attaching so we could do some of that let's have a look at at, at this one here we have another version of those those connections so you know that, that that would be pretty straightforward to do all right so we could do obviously a mixture we could say okay i'm going to do this kind but I can't see those very well, so I'll do this kind of, uh, um, you know, uh, apparatus for the wires to attach or something like that. I also like this piece here, however, you know, sloping up and then another, another level here, sort of rounded off there with some holes in it and, and this kind of a hole. Uh, let's see what else we've got on the sides. This one might be one of my favorites uh, because I do like this. Uh, this design here with this uh, pushed in um, I'm not sure if I I guess I would probably have to join vertices and I, I don't always like doing that down here so it's flush with that and you know, so this is a separate piece that kind of blends into this one but I like that but you can see these very well here so again we could use this as our reference with these sort of hexagonal pieces here uh, I could take one off, or, or maybe the tube attaches to that. So we do have some good references for for something on the side. Um, you know, here's that here's that one again, and and it doesn't have to be exactly the same as any of these. We could just use these as ideas, but we will need something on the side. And in general, they all seem to have um, the spots where the wires connect. 
and uh, they're, they're similar in many ways, which of course makes sense if you want it to look like the real thing. So, yeah, top and bottom, base, fan, grill, supports, or, or whatever clips, something on the front, some electronic type stuff on, the, on, on one side, and on the other side, many of them have this kind of a, some kind of a, uh, another grill or venting uh, system here. So we've got that one, We've got this one. All right, we've got something else on that one. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, can't tell very well. Um, nothing on that one. On this one, um, you know, some of this stuff here, by the way, on one of my favorite images, uh, is, 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 is probably just, is probably texture you know so if you didn't have to do this on the side and it might have been the same on the other side but here you can see again so I think I would do something like that on the side uh, I'd have something like this on one side or something like this on one side and something like this on the other side and if I did this as you can see you know this is going to be cut in and you're going to have to deal with pinching and whether or not it's rounded and, and, and stuff like that. And this becomes quite kind of bubbly and stuff. And I'm not sure how much I like that, but I have to take that into account. All right, so we've got the front, we've got uh, the top and the bottom. And by the way, it's a question of, is anything on that top? Like this top looks like there's probably nothing on it. This one doesn't have a top. This one's got a little bit of detail. This one doesn't. Um, you know, the one I'm really, I guess, referring to is this one, which had more of that kind of, uh, of a thing on top of it. And I would pretty much guarantee you that is texture right there, including the bolts. Uh, so it might be something to look at having some design on the top as well. I've seen a few of them that seem to have a little bit of a hatch. I may not have them there. Oh yeah. And by the way, here's another one, uh, with a different, um, I guess left side all right so definite geometry cut away and inside you've got some uh, like a hexagonal mesh work there and this is a, a maybe a better shot of uh, of that one for that for the side there and we don't have to have something on top it's just something to consider and then we need to think about supports so this one you can see the metal pieces here and attaching at the back and we can even see a side view so you can get a sense of the metal coming through like that um let's see what else you can see more here on on that one all right so that would be pretty straightforward to do um kind of boring i actually liked this one um, I couldn't see the back of this one, but I assumed that it was this rounded piece. Let's imagine we started with like a narrow plane and it was rounded here and then it goes up kind of like the valve handle that I did. And then I assumed it went all the way back and then it did the same thing on the back, sort of symmetric, just like the front. I liked that. And then I liked these, which you could just take, well, there's so many different ways you could do that. And, and I thought that would be easy to do and, and would look good as well. And, I don't know, kind of similar, I suppose. And then you have this one with sort of the, the, the pipe, like the, the hollow thing coming back to that piece, which would bolt into the wall. So, uh, and again, we've got that. So that seems to be a recurring, a recurring thing. This one, I think this, this one was modeled off of this one. And by the way, I do like that front once again, like I guess I had said. And I like some of these pieces back here. I'm, I'm not crazy about this. It's it's a little plasticky and kind of nondescript, but <laughs> on the other hand, uh, mine may may end up looking very similar, so I, I, I shouldn't say. Uh, and this one here, um, it's hard to tell sometimes. And so some of these might be, it might be this piece and then that piece and that one. And then in texture, this was done you know, and, and maybe this was done. I, I do like this as well. You could have this piece and this piece kind of going under and with a, with a, a little gap, like these things aren't at the same height, I guess is what I'm saying. And this, you could use, you know, this cutaway. I mean, you could do that with a boolean. and you definitely could. And you could put some bolts. It's just, it just gives a lot to look at. And the other thing that I like about this is, I mean, I like the cutaway on the front and there's only one 
on the front that I can see here. But then on the back, so we have to consider the back as well. So we were just talking about supports. Now I'm talking about the back as well. You've got two cutaways here, and then you've got this kind of a thing where, you know, just like, you know, like in a school locker, you often see this kind of a thing. And so I like that for the back. And again, giving you many places where you can put bolts. Um, and you can see a, maybe a better view of the top as well. So uh, we have that. And then it's just a question of, you know, do I have a few wires coming out of it? You know, this one has this kind of a pipe, which is looks like a very uh, kind of low res kind of texture. But I mean, obviously this is, this is a professional and it looks good, uh, but not all of them have wires coming out, but this one looks like it does coming to some button. And uh, you know, we can see other wires coming out, whether there's a button or not. All right, so those are the main components. And so really what we need to do is uh, have this here. Now this is pure ref and I can keep this on top of Blender uh, and I can zoom in and zoom out. I could also click on something and hit the space bar and just, you know, focus on that uh, if I want to. And um, just choose choose the parts that I like and start modeling it. And uh, we'll just see how, how it goes, all right? So that's what I'm gonna get started on. We've got our main components. We know what we roughly are going to need. And it's just a question of getting started and then going through our references and deciding which components we wanna do. Uh, and which ones we think will look best and be reasonable to model. All right, so hope to start that very soon. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me for the series.